Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video we're going to go over resume tips for new nurses without job experience. Many times new nurses will be wanting to apply for a job but they're a little bit nervous because they don't have healthcare experience as working as maybe a nurse intern, a CNA, a clerical, or anything like that. And they want to know how to make their resume look just as good as someone who does have job experience. So in this video, I'm going to go over certain categories that you should accent on your resume, give you an example of how you can do that, and just give you some tips on how to make your resume look good and hopefully increase your chances of getting that job that you want. So let's get started. Tip number one, very first thing you'll want to do is make sure that you use a professional looking resume template and cover letter design. So important. Whenever a manager gets a resume, they get a lot of resumes. And you want to make sure that yours stands out because it's, in a sense, I like to compare them to a billboard. It's something that gets you interested in it. So if the manager sees this nice, pleasing design and not everyone has that same design, they're more likely going to look at that. They're going to read it and hopefully give you a call for an interview. So be sure you're either creating your own or buying one that looks good. On my website, registerednursern.com, I have some free, very basic resume templates you can download for free. Just go there and in the search up in the top right, just search resume templates and I'll bring that up. Or I also have available 10 premium resume templates and matching cover letters that were designed by a graphic designer with they were made for nurses or healthcare professionals that you can purchase for $3.99. You get all of those instantly and you also get a um, ebook version of this book called Nursing Resume, a job guide for nurses that helps you with the job interview, how to follow up, how to dress, tips and tricks with all that. So you can get that. And just to give you an idea of what those premium resume templates look like, here are some of them. Once you decide on your resume template design, you'll want to make sure that you look for any misspellings and any errors because you want everything to look perfect because if a manager catches that whenever they're looking through that they may brush you off because they'll count as unprofessional you didn't take the time to look it over and also a lot of times resumes are submitted digitally now so make sure that it looks correct because on your screen it may look good but whenever the manager downloads it it may scatter everything the spacing may be crazy so I really recommend you print it out to make sure it looks good Okay, tip number two, you'll want to accent certain categories where you lack in job experience. For instance, whenever you're setting up your resume, you'll have different categories and you can put whatever categories you want. Um, education is generally one you definitely want to include. So say that you graduated at the top of your class or you had a really great GPA, you'll want to include that for sure. Next, any volunteer work you did in the healthcare field. Say you're in nursing school and you volunteered many times in the children's hospital or among other things. You want to highlight that because that shows that you've been in a healthcare setting and you have a little bit of an idea of what things, how they work. Next, any summer jobs you might have held. This shows that the manager that although you don't have healthcare experience, you do have experience holding down a job that shows that you have worked with others, you've worked in the public, and you know how to hold a job down. And next, I think this is very, very important to include, and I'm going to show you an example of a resume with this included, and it's just to give you an idea. But include your clinical experience and any preceptorships that you've done. A lot of times, whenever you're in your senior year, we have what's called a senior preceptorships or practicums, and this is where you pretty much spend the whole semester with a nurse working under them. And you have clinical hours that you complete up to that point. So I really recommend that you include that on there. And let me show you right now how to set that up. Okay, here's an example of a resume highlighting the experience using one of our premium resume templates. And if you notice, under the experience part, I have put 
clinical preceptorship and clinical rotations because if you have absolutely no job experience, you want to put something under this because you really do have some experience even though you didn't get paid for it. So here, if you have completed a senior practicum where you worked one-on-one -on -one with an RN, a preceptorship, this is where you want to include that. So you could put clinical preceptorship, put the years that you complete, whenever you completed it, how many hours, and be sure to include everything that you performed while you were with that nurse because that's really going to highlight to that manager that, hey, you have some experience doing some tasks. Next, under that, if you notice it says clinical rotations, that is included just to highlight, hey, I've completed this many hours, I've worked in these type of settings, and that just shows that you're a well-rounded candidate, you've been in different settings, have been exposed to different things. So whenever you're creating your resume, you may want to refer back to this video and try to highlight and try to show the manager that you're trying to get a job from that you have experience, although it's not job experience, but you have clinical experience. Tip number three, sell yourself in the cover letter. The cover letter is included with your resume and it's the top sheet and usually it's addressed to the hiring manager and it's a paragraph written by you that explains why you're, why you're the best candidate for the job. And this is like your sales pitch area for them to be encouraged to look at your resume and call and give you an interview. And in this, you really wanna highlight some things since you don't have any job experience. You'll wanna highlight your clinical experience, a couple short sentences on how you had an extensive clinical time, maybe where you worked, hours you completed, things like that. And if you include a letter of, letter of recommendation, which I'll talk about here in a second, you'll need to talk about that and encourage them to look that over because that person vouch, vouches for your job experience and things like that. And always end with that you're highly motivated, you're a quick learner, and you're trainable, especially if those things are true because that is gonna tell the manager, hey, I may not have job experience, but I have this clinical experience and I'm willing to put the effort into learning your unit and learning how to be a great nurse. So that just helps encourage them a little bit to call you and give you an interview. Okay, tip number four. Try to include a letter of recommendation from a clinical instructor. This can be the nurse that you were with during your senior practicum or a clinical instructor through your nursing school. Someone who can vouch for your work ethic, your skill performance, doing nursing skills, and patient interactions. And whenever you have that person write that letter of recommendation for you, tell them specifically to concentrate on that because since you already lack in job experience, you want them to highlight your clinical experience. And that's gonna show the nurse manager, hey, this person does have some experience, although they didn't get paid for it, but maybe I should give them a try. So I really highly recommend doing that. Okay, and number five, I want to leave you with some encouragement. I know it is tough out there. And for some new nurse graduates, it's tougher getting a job in certain locations because a lot of employers are like, well, we want a nurse with experience. But then there's other, where I live, new nurses, they were like, yes, we want new nurses. So just remember, you will find a job. Just keep putting in your resume, keep trying hard, and take these tips and highlight where you lack in job experience. And don't let that deter you. I had one time this nurse manager tell me, and I want to share it with you. She said, you know, whenever I get a list of a, a thing of emails of resumes and I look through the resumes and I'm wanting to hire for this certain position, I really always like to look at the new nurses rather than the seasoned nurses because I like hiring new nurses because they are trainable and they haven't developed bad habits as the seasoned nurses. So I really like hiring new grads. So there are people out there who actually want to hire new nurses without job experience because you don't have the bad habits like us seasoned nurses. So hang in there and I wish you the best of luck and thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.